Welcome to Engineering Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models. We have got some singlet gear here. We have an oscilloscope, uh, arbitrary waveform generator, and a digital multimeter. And we are going to do some software tests because I set up my bench with the tools and we have a problem. Let me take you to the camera I was planning on using to show you the displays of these. Look at that, you can't see what's going on. You can see a little bit on the oscilloscope here, but the arbitrary waveform generator you really can't see, and the digital multimeter, yeah, it's very faint, you can't see it. So um, I don't wanna put this camera on a different tripod, because if you look at it in my overhead shot, well, the overhead shot's not on, hold on. Turn on the overhead shot. If you look at the overhead shot, the camera's in shot, so the camera for that. And then even if I go to overhead and mini, you really can't see what's going on. So what is my options? Well, looky here. They have software that can run on the computer that reads data from the meter. So this is their Easy DMM digital multimeter from Singlet. Um, it's a process downloading this software. You have to download this um, National Instruments thing, but you only have to do it one time for any piece of singlet equipment. And the reason why I went with Singlet over Rigel or any other brand is because they have the five pieces of equipment I want, the electronic load, the power supply, the oscilloscope, the wave generator, and the multimeter, and additionally another multimeter and they all interact with each other you can swap USB devices around and transfer stuff you can use their software to interact and they're all compatible with each other in some way so that is why I went with singlet and I continue like there were some features on the um, Rigel load detector load electronic load that I like better than the singlet but I think it the communication, serial communication part of it makes me think that it's worth it just to neglect that one feature I liked for having it all communication and all that good stuff. And and there's apps for those, um, there's um, programs for those items also. I just currently have the programs for the oscilloscope and the waveform generator and the digital multimeter. This is the digital multimeter, and if I come up here and hit play, it will output my display on here. And if I turn on the power supply, what it is plugged into, I have uh, 4.53 volts, 4.54 volts. I can adjust it, and now I have 7 volts. Bring it back down. So I can display. Um, I can display meter readings and things like that. Um, I plan on having a um, a lot of times in a overhead shot, which is here, to have in the corner of the screen um, down in this area where the ESM logo is, or up in the top corner, to have a little window like this camera has a little window with the readings I'll crop the window hopefully I can figure that out and it'll just show you the display of the meter so that is my plan for that but now we're just looking at it on you know monitor capture here so I'm gonna end up doing the window capture and have it all set up for you on that so this is the multimeter and there are different modes there's I can go to current here and Oh, cool. When you're in remote mode, you can't um, you can't use the buttons on the on the unit. So let's just see here. What can we do? Oh, we can go right here to function. We can go to DC current, and then it'll swap it to DC current. So I want to stop it, so I have control over it, and I want to go back to. No, I want to stop it. There we go. It stopped. Oh, well, I'm still in remote. I don't want to. So I'm going to disconnect. 
Get me out of remote. I want to get out of remote. I disconnected. Oh, there you go. You have to press the local button. Ah, oh, that explains it. Okay, so the local button lets me um, get out of there. So let's connect. Let's see if I can measure it now. Now I'm in the local menu here. Now can I go back to... No, I can't go back to local. I have to... What if I stop it and go back to local? Yeah, I can go back to local if I stop the read. So, and then if I click the read. So, that would be good for showing you what's on the display. Um, I hope, um, you know, I'm trying to raise money to get um, this equipment. This is on loan to me. I have it for two months. I'm trying to raise money. So, you know, you can visit my Patreon page right here. Um, or you, the link's in the description. And you can help me um, be able to afford this equipment. Um, I'm hoping to have the money for it. But uh, any, a little bit helps on that end. So let, let's take a look at what I have next here. This is the EasyScope X. This is for the oscilloscope, the digital four channel oscilloscope. Um, I don't have anything plugged into it at the moment. Um, I was going to demonstrate this with the cross-referencing the waveform generator with the oscilloscope, but it didn't come with the, the, the waveform generator didn't come with any cables. So they sent it to me but no cables so I had to order cables and they haven't arrived yet so um, yeah that's that so basically this is how that works um, it doesn't say this is in remote so I wonder if I can change things on here yeah I can I can change things on that and then I can hit the refresh button to, to make the update or I can play it now can, can I still make changes on it yeah I can make changes on the unit I like that I like the fact that I can make changes while it's on the screen I'm a fan of that so uh, waveform um, so So yeah, it has it has a lot of different send commands, screen capture. Screen capture is going to be nice because then I can, um, you know, take pictures or thumbnails or for later use. But that's the EasyScope software. So again, I will put that in a little window when we use the oscilloscope, so that we can um, see this stuff. And then this is the EasyWave X. This is the waveform editor for the for the arbitrary wave um, form generator the the 32 the 1032x from singlet and this is um, basically like I can do a square wave um, square wave that right channel let's preview it and it shows me a square wave so I have a square wave and then I can come in here and I can do different things to it um, I can freehand draw so I can make this go down there like that um, I can hear what happens when I oh I can put peaks in can I throw a selector here what does that do I can zoom into an area. So I'm assuming that there are ways to manipulate the, the waveform. That's points, vertical line, horizontal line, freehand draw. There's mathematic functions, different communications. You can send the waveform, all that good stuff. So um, 
what I need to do is let us um, let us create a new blank waveform, and then we're going to name this clock. Name this clock because I am working on a project and I need a clock signal, and it is going to be one hertz because it is going to be slow. So let us. How do you unzoom? I want to. Zoom. Fit to window. No. scroll through here so I did a sign wave what am I doing here okay here's the amplitude this is time doesn't look like it's a what's the time scale okay so anyways this is gonna be um, this is gonna be Start time, end time. Okay, so I'll end this. What does that do? Zoom the area, bit waveform the display. sine wave here so it's going to be 5 volts it's going to have 50% duty cycle frequency of 1 hertz it's going to have say 20 cycles let's preview that that's what I want. Okay, there we go. So I just only had one cycle. So there is my um, sine wave, and I need to I need to edit it. How do I edit? Um, I need to put an offset in here. So edit. Nope. See the uh, putting an offset on the. On the um, actual scope is pretty easy. A4 properties, frequency, wavelength. Okay. Display properties. Nope, that's not what I want. Okay, well, we'll just do another square wave. And then we'll do the offset by five volt or two two point five. And then we'll do five volts. And then we'll do do ten cycles. Preview that. So zero volts, five volts, that's what I want. So there we go. So zero volts to five volts, there's my clock pulse. I'd say one hertz clock pulse. I need to figure out how I can come in here and edit this stuff without having to go up to square wave and change it like that. But that is easy wave and you guys can see it on the screen. Um, this will probably be used full screen and then maybe the oscilloscope in the corner or something. I don't know. Um, but I plan on playing with this more. This is just the software. Like I said, um, you go to, let me show you the website to get the software. I probably should do that. So.
so that arm always goes off in a video so you come up here to singlet this is singlet na.com you go to services and support firmware and software and then you pick your your device like say for the oscilloscope I have the I have a 10,000 EX series I have the 1104 EX so I go there and then you know there's the software for the easy scope software and then here is my driver if I have to or my firmware if I need to update my firmware so there's that and then if I go if I go back here is my uh, waveform generator you know here's the software for easy wave and if I go back here's my digital multimeter I have the 3045 um, where's the 30 there's the 3045 right there so firmware I actually had to update the firmware of the multimeter for the program to work but that was pretty easy you there's a readme file to tell you how to do it our PDF and um, you basically just copy it to a USB flash drive and then um, a USB flash drive and then you plug it into the digital multimeter and then you just do an update you just go to I believe it was shift dual which is utility system setup um, update and then you gotta pick the location of the USB drive pick the file hit update and it um, updated rebooted and everything was good to go so that was good um, I did not have to update my firmware on my oscilloscope but there is a new um, firmware update for my oscilloscope let's take a look at that so right here this firmware right here is new I do not have I, I, I bought my oscilloscope um, in early 2019 so I probably don't have any of these so I'm going to have to download that and I believe the firmware on the waveform generator is up to date let me see um, yeah because mine was calibrated after that date so I'm assuming it has that firmware but that that's easy to check I can check my firmware right here on the oscillos on the system, system info. So this one has software version one zero one zero one three three R one B six. So this is this is fully updated. Let's check the oscilloscope to see if that's updated. Just I know this is just like this is the day in a life in my in my lifetime here. This is what I do. So let us go to utility. I like how they're all um, they're all pretty pretty similar. Oh, it seems to be system status. Okay, this one has software version um, eight one six one six. Yeah, this one has extremely this one definitely needs to be updated so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done so yeah that's crazy okay so that is gonna do it for this video um, you can visit me at these social media links as before I mentioned my patreon page any little bit helps support the channel to allow me to do more amazing and crazy things so thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day